Hi, I'm musician first class Ryan Connolly, and I'm a tenor in the United States Navy Band Sea Chanters Chorus. First public performance, I was actually in the Lollipop Guild in The Wizard of Oz when I was in third grade. And that was the start of something beautiful, I think, because very early on, I realized that I had not only like the aptitude, but also this passion for being on stage. I did a lot of work with Kentucky Opera early on to do main stage roles. I did an opera there called Die Entführung auf dem Sorail, which is a German Mozart comedy. Um, I'm always a big fan of comedy because nobody dies, people fall in love, it's usually a happy ending. As I went through my opera career, starting in 2007 all the way through to just the recent years, I started noticing that more and more of my friends from the opera world started appearing in these military band jobs. They all started reaching out to me as well, so actually the way that I ended up auditioning for the Sea Chanters was that a dear friend of mine, he reached out to me and said, hey, this would be a great fit for you. I'm with this group and there's an opening in the Sea Chanters. I really think you should give it a shot. Then I, I you know, put together the materials and the rest is history, obviously. I didn't know a ton about the military and military life before enlisting, and so it was a really interesting experience for me early on, and I learned a lot of lessons in really like unexpected ways. Being at boot camp, for example, was this so, it was such an interesting experience. It really hit me and struck me one day that everybody Every sailor, no matter what their rate is, no matter what they were doing, has their own important job to do. And all of those jobs combine, even though it may seem super insignificant, all of those jobs combine to make the ship run. And that was something that kind of struck me. I, you know, part of the way through boot camp, I realized all of these recruits that I was working with were all gonna go off to the fleet and do exactly what they were meant to do. And as long as we all do the job, then everything goes just exactly as it was supposed to. So it was sort of this really interesting lesson for me. You know, I've always been, uh, as a musician, somebody who sort of travels and slots in, and there wasn't as much continuity there. But seeing that continuity of each person and their role was really something that kind of, you know, taught me a lot about what life in the Navy is going to be like. It's been an absolute blast just to, to really drop into the group, you kind of, we kind of hit the ground running. I got to do a lot of the ceremonial pieces of the job that really are, are extremely impact. We do a big PBS special for Memorial Day that I got to take part in. I was able to sing ceremonies for retirements or a memorial service at the Pentagon. You know, all of these really important things. I think that the main mission really is, it's in diplomacy, but it's also in like, educational awareness and history and cultural preservation. We get to bring these messages to the people in a very real way. And it's evident when you talk with people that our performances do affect people emotionally in a really impactful way.